Oh, I yeah. can't see anything. Hey y'all. Hey Unicorn, hey Silios, hey Waffles. Will a notification squad? Oof. Hello. I realised I've somehow hurt my little finger somewhere. That's not good. Hey chat. Hello everyone. How are all of you? Hi Lich. Nice shirt. Thank you. It's got things on it. Hello. I had a DM from Donut last stream. We just need to have a look at. It was something to do with one of the crashes I was getting. What was it? <sighs> hmm. Alright, he's saying that I should assert in like the area that I do play sound. Was that game? He's saying here that I should do like a quick assert statement. He's saying that this will help me. Because I'm assuming this will throw. We've been getting some crashes lately, randomly, due to the sounds not working properly, like the buffer not existing or something. So maybe this will cause a crash here, but it will let us go back up the pipeline to see where it's going wrong. Anyway. Hello, you just started playing Medic and you got a 10 kill streak every round. You also got a 25. Nice. Hey Moon. How often do I Kekwa? I don't know. Hi Sully. Hey Nettle. Good morning. Yeah, I had um I had no sleep at all yesterday. I think I went to sleep at like 4 a.m. or something. I woke up at like half eight. So I'm quite tired. You must have missed the move to Visual Studio, how's it go? We've done two streams since moving it to Visual Studio. The first one we didn't really do much programming and we pissed around in Famitracker. The second one was last week. Does the capture work? There we go. The second one was last week and we made a particle system. So if I get, if I hit the enemy here, you see, they like explode and when I get hit, they also explode. See? I also added the mechanic that makes it so the enemies flash white for like a frame or a couple of frames when you bap them. Which by the way, massive pain in the bum that was. Um, we had to like write a shader. Where's the... Alright. We had to write a thing in draw, where if the enemy is meant to be flashing, it uses a shader to make them white, which looks like this. It's coming along now. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you all up to, chat? How are you doing? Hello, hello. 
Um, I don't know if I implemented this into... Bosses... I did? Can I double check that? I don't remember what I've implemented exactly. The boss... The boss does flash and does set off the particle. Okay, so I guess I did do that properly. But it's pretty cool. It means there's like a little bit of, um... There's actually feedback on stuff now. It's neat, isn't it? This doesn't actually work, does it? No, I didn't think so. Alright. Anyway, I don't know what the plan was for today. There's still a couple of- there's still a couple. There's still tons and tons of stuff we can do. Wait, does V-Sync actually work? No, V-Sync does nothing. Alright, great. Starting your first nugs lock in years. Ooh, I've never done this lock. What game are you playing? Hi, Jacob. But yeah, I need to work out what the what the stress is for today. Um, I kind of at some point want to write something that lets me not have to actually design boss patterns and just lets the game make them itself. That would be pretty cool. Like you just feed in a seed and it generates patterns. That would be pretty sick. How would I do that though? That seems like a pretty big project. But it would save me a ton of time and effort. Or even having like the levels randomly generate as well. Hi potatoes. Well like randomly generate but to a set seed so the game's the same every time. That would be an interesting mechanic. Having the game actually run randomly. Or pick from like a set selection of paths. But then once you've like beaten it on expert or whatever, you can play the game randomly. That's a thought. Hmm. I should probably try and fix some of these warnings, shouldn't I? Oh, I just need to make bomb particles as well, don't I? Because right now there's no particles whatsoever for when you set up a bomb. They just... The enemies just disappear. Now you see the bomb counter on the right, the green text goes down. When you bomb. But there's no like explosion or anything. Might need to design that. Because that seems like a thing, doesn't it? Like in, in Toho it shows like the character's sprite and goes like... Ba 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 ba. You know? Hmm. What do I want to work on? Bomb particles are definitely much easier. But then I have to start designing stuff, don't I? Mm -hmm. It would just need to be like an animation, but that seems like a bit of a pain, doesn't it? Whereas randomly generating a bunch of bosses... How hard could that be? End boss. Where am I looking? It's this, right? I need to be able to randomly somehow generate this. Procedural golf. I just like procedural generation. It saves so much time. I'm wondering how I'd do it. Oh. Or would that be a bit shit? Oh. Hmm. It might make it impossible, actually. Isn't there a chance? Like, if you're randomly generating stuff. Hmm. How many levels did I want this to have, anyway? Like, five? Do I have to come up with like 10 boss designs? Hmm. Alright, back to MS Paint. It's 
here's Microsoft Paint. This is my designing tool of choice. It's more moon that um, the pattern it might generate might be impossible. But I could just make it so I individually generate each pattern one at a time. Right? Not paint.net. I wouldn't spend eight years loading up a program just to doodle with a pen. No, thank you. Right. Let's do some level design chat. Level one, two, three, four, five. Right? And then extra as well, because we're like that. We want to make an extra stage. Right? That's tiny. Two, three, four, five, EX. So the area, the mid boss, the boss, and the notes. Yeah, I think that's the idea, potatoes. But we need to work out what we're doing first. So level one is sort of like, sort of grassy and shit. Right? Sort of like grassy and maybe like a cloud. Like, cool, you know? Mid-boss is the fucking donut. Actually, hang on, what does the donut look like? Like this. Mid-boss is a donut. That means the last boss, by definition, has to be... Wasn't it a burb with like a funny thing in a... Like a little... She had like a little... A little, little sort of like... I don't like this pen. It was like a little bird. With like a bird's nest for her. I remember this design. Cute, cute bird waifu. There you go. I don't know why the donut's the mid-boss. This donut could be like the EX mid-boss as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't really make a lot of sense that there's a fucking donut. Maybe he can be in hell. That sounds like fun. That means level like 5 has to be hell, doesn't it? Level 4? No, level 5 could be fucking bakery hell. Alright. Ah, oh, this shit isn't cool. It's like, oh. Oh, no. That's sort of hell like, isn't it? That's where Donut lives. So how do we go from nice landscapes to hell? Hmm. Donut has been sent to hell for his sins. He has. How about the birds like... Bark, 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 bark. Bird. Bird noises. Who would the mid-boss be if the bird is the boss boss? The mid-boss could be like... Boss could be. What's like a bird's. like a, just a small bird?
There you go. A small bird, yes. But he wears an egg on his head. So you beat him up, and then you go beat up his mum. How about that? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I think that makes a lot of sense. So... After that... The bird is like, ah... Oh, you meant to go to... Ah, oh, you, 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 sh you should go, go that way. That way is a, uh, well, I mean, after land, you've got to have, like, a fucking forest, right? So you can have, like, a nice forest like this. But it's like a pine forest, maybe. Something like that. So now you're going over a pine forest. That means the boss has to be some sort of yeti. That's how that's... That's how the logic works there. So it can be... Fluffy... Yeti friend. He's wearing earmuffs because they're cold. Yeti design, thank you. Hello, Kaifos. I'm doing okay, thank you. Fresh out of the egg and straight into fisticuffs. Yeah, you can have you can have like a little boxing glove on his. You know what? That's some law, right? The bird he's found a bloody his like his like bird mother. Like look at this, this is some law, right? Law. Bird wife son bird wife found this funny glove and gave to son but it is waifu chan's glove there you go there's some lore bird wife lore a bird but wife Law does not really like the cold, to be honest. There you go. What would happen before you fight the fluffy yeti friend, though? Hmm. You'd fight just some random, like, woman on a hike. She's like, oh. You think it's the yeti, but it's actually just bloody woman on a hike. You're like, ah. Oh. Maybe she has like a nice little like, little fire going. There you go. 
This is some deep loho -ho, -ho lore, yeah. So you, you fight some woman on a, on a hike because she looks a bit like a yeti. And she's like, that's not cool. I'm just a lady on a hike. And then you eventually find the fluffy yeti friend. They don't really like the cold. They're wearing these nice fashionable purple earmuffs. Twitch branded. Right. So after being on this bloody mountain... Or the foot of the mountain... Then you go bloody... Through... I don't know... If I hear snowman... No, no, this isn't the snowman, this is a yeti. After that... You obviously go straight to the fucking sky. So maybe the level starts at the top of the mountain, and then you end up just being in, like, the sky. But fucking storms are brewing. A wizard's tower and be a portal to hell. Yeah, that's a smart idea. I was more thinking you'd eventually climb up to heaven and then realise, oh fuck, we're meant to be in hell, and then just quickly fall down. And then fucking donuts there, being like, ah, ah. And then have like some random, like, bloody characters above them, because he's from Sweden. There we go. Have like a little Alan screw in there as well. They love those. Alright. So it's bloody stormy and shit, right? So naturally, in a storm cloud, who would you fight? Except a big ol' eye in the clouds. Who's crying? I can beat them up. You fight a cl fucking cloud with an eye, right? Dad tries to random train his crits. Have you lost your starter yet? I don't think I could ever do a start. Uh, I don't think I could ever do a uh, Nuzlocke because I'd feel too sad about losing all the Pokemon constantly. Doctor Who flashbacks. Sure, we can make it a reference to a show I haven't seen. That'll make people excited. Cloud with I, and then after that, naturally you fight- no wait, I can't put that on Twitch stream. Naturally you fight another body part. <laughs> no. After you fight the Cloud with I, you can fight... I don't know, a giant fist. Sort of like... I can't really draw a fist, but there you go. And the fist can be sassy to you, because it's a fist. And it'll be pink, because it's like, Ichirin. It's just a bloody, just a bloody fist. Bit sassy. We lose the whole thing before gym one. Oh moy. Bust down the doors to heaven looking for a fight only to realize you're in the wrong half of the afterlife. I think that sounds funny, doesn't it? And then he fucking... When you win, he yeets you to heaven. I guess. Fucking just grab, just yeets you to heaven. Maybe I can have little cutscenes between levels showing the transition. And by cutscene, I mean a nice drawing because I can't animate. Like that. Cutscene. Have a nice cutscene drawing between stages.
All right. You get yeeted up to heaven, right? You're up here. You're at the pearly gates. Which, for whatever reason, are barred off. You know what you fight? You fight a bloody... I don't know yet. I haven't worked that out. This stage can just be like... Fucking lights everywhere and shit. Yeah. Who do you fight? That's right. Generic angel. Except it's bird waifu. Because you killed bird waifu. Well, you didn't kill Bird Waifu. Bird Waifu was an angel all along. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, the, the next boss can be an actual, like, accurate angel. I thought that would be a cool idea. Go from, like, generic angel? He's like, yeah, you can go inside, I guess. And then there's, like, a fucking biblically accurate one inside. With, like, a giant wheel of eyes. Hi, small. Angels do love fire. They do love being on fires, right? This one yells at you in fist. Hello, Christopher. Yeah, rats can eat chocolate. Yeah, they can eat pretty much anything. Rats can eat like cardboard. Rats are sweet. Hi, small. I'm writing out the design for Woho, and the, the, the ideas are coming to me, Christopher. We've got level one, you fight the child of egg. The lore is that it's bird wife's look, I can get rid of the webcam, hang on a second, we can have a look. Okay, the webcam's disabled. Okay, well, it's safe for me. You're allowed it's over here now, look. So I'm egg. going through the levels, oh, right? Yeah, many... Level one, you got fucking got Yeah, thanks. <laughs> level one you got this fucking like green pastures and shit. Yeah. You fight like bird Who wife's that? son. Who is that? Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. You fight bird wife's son. Um, the law, right, is that he's got this funny, funny shiny glove on because Bird Wife gave it to him. The law is that that's actually Waifu Chan's glove, so that's why she beats him up. I don't know why Baker Chan does, yeah, but she's just probably angry, I guess. But she, look, he's like a little egg, little, little bird creature with like an egg on its head. And then the boss is Bird Wife. So th so it's a bird, but it's Bird Wife, and she has little, it's like her hair is like a so little the nest. First thing you do in this game is beat up a tiny, a, yeah. A baby so bird. the next level after that. It's a, it's like a cool, like sort of frosty mountain, because that's where yeah. you go next, right? Yeah. And first, but the mini boss is just some woman on a hike, because she looks a bit like a yeti, maybe from a while away. But the actual boss is the fluffy <laughs> yeti friend who really doesn't like the cold, and they have nice Twitch branded. That's not Twitch coloured. She has nice like Twitch TV branded purple. You know, that's Discord. That's close enough. Oh right, whatever. 
Anyway, this bloody fluffy yeti That's friend. Very right? sweet. Could be a he. Then after that, you got you climb the mountain and then you go into like the fucking sky clouds and shit. You're like you fight like an eye, like a cloud with an eye because it's like you're like a bit spooky, a bit spooky in it. Is he crying? Yeah. He yeah, he's got allergies. <laughs> it's spooky in it. He has it's allergies. Fucking... Oh no. All right, and then after that, you fight a bloody just a just a fucking fist. It's just it's literally just a bloody fist. He's a bit sassy. He yells at you in fist. Um, and then after you beat him, he fucking yeets you to heaven. He just... <laughs> Alright? And then in heaven, you go to the fucking pearly gates, right? Nice clouds everywhere. The mid-boss is Birdwife, except it was actually Angel. And then when you win, she's like, oh, you can go in, I guess. Being a bit cheeky. Like, oh, didn't think I could beat that. And then you fight a biblically accurate Angel. Which yells at you in ah. What is that? Oh, it's covered in eyes and fire and spikes and Why goo and stuff. Why biblically accurate? Because that's what they look like. They don't have that many eyes, do they? You're not seeing these. They're fucking spooky. Is that what they look like? Oh, I should give them like wings and shit. Oh, I didn't know that's what they look like. Oh, that is quite spooky. Yeah, they're like, they're, like they're, like covered many in eyes and shit. Eyes anyway, this. I'm on the next level now, which after that is you get sent to hell because you realise you were in the wrong fucking place all along. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's where you find donut, and I haven't gotten further than that. <laughs> Where you find donuts. Yeah. I don't know what the extra stage could be. So, so you start out with. Okay, yes. Very small though. This is the storyline for Project Voivo. Look how sweet he looks. Like you, can you scroll in? Oh, hold down control for you. Yeah. Look at him. Child of egg. Look at him. He's so small. Hey, and mommas. you come in and you go like. Bop, hey, bop. Then in the next level you get bingo. <laughs> this is like a bingo sheet to you. <laughs> hey, I thought this was a pretty good design. I'm gonna save this. Whoa ho. Level design. Bye bye. We're a battleship grid. Okay, I can bring the webcam back now. Hang on a second. A5, how? Oh, it's me. God, I look really young with my my beard shaved, don't I? Weird. Alright. Boss boss three. Oh yeah, boss boss three. Okay, so when you're in hell. It's like Swedish hell, though, right? That might be in the wrong order. I don't remember what the IKEA logo looks like, honestly. Boss could be the king, the king of Sweden. It could just be a JPEG picture of like. No, I don't like that. The CEO of IKEA. We don't have to be super racist. Just a little racist. Hmm. Who's the final boss of Woho chat? Who designed Visual Studio Code? Original creator. Microsoft. No, but who who wrote it? Who create created Visual Studio Code? Microsoft. This I guess it's just a big team of people at Microsoft, huh? Switchy is the final boss. Hmm. A meatball logo. Okay. Woolen is the final boss. Sweden? Larger than Denmark. Hmm. Oh wait, no, it's the who who takes who takes the bloody who takes Baker Chan's bread? Because that's the whole law, right? Is that 
Baker Chan's bread. Like it starts like pre-game. Baker Chan's bread is stolen by X. So you're like, oh no, get it back. There you go. Oh, I can't be Kana Kamishiasara from Toho. Eight and Perishable Night, right? Unless Eldritch will he he. I don't like that. Unless it is, and it's actually just quite scary. Eldritch Wool he, he was behind it all along. I hate that face. I actually hate it. <laughs> ha boy That's right, it's bloody copyright. No, I don't like Eldritch Boy, he, he, he frightens me. The final boss is not allowed to be that. What is this duplicated song? Stop this. Ba, ba, bom. Starts as he he but transforms but morphs into its true form. I can't do that. Yeah, we're listening to just Pokemon music. Da 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 No, I don't want to fight Wool He He as the boss. That's mean. Mm. I don't like the idea that you're just fighting a twitchy mood. Wool budget. Him. Ah. You've come to challenge me, have you? Now, how about it's wool budget? And then it evolves into wool budget with a gun. Tries to warn you, but before perishing, but it's too late. Halfway through the final encounter, budget transforms into gold smug. Can I get a gold smug small? I've forgotten what it looks like. Will he? Alright, I'll 
post it. Oh, you did post it, nice. It evolves into gold smug and then pulls out a gun. That seems pretty realistic for a video game, right? I think that looks like a storyline. It looks pretty coherent. Maybe. Etamon to Metalemon. Unlike some of the Digimon, they evolve from like bloody like a dog into like a refrigerator. It is a puppet Digimon. It's like a weird flesh monkey. And the metal one is like a cool metal monkey. Yeah. Alright, this is the story. The story of Woho. And a short but coherent story. And it'll take you 500 hours to complete because I'll make it literally pixel perfect to fight the, uh, the angel. There you go. You just you just be left being like, what the fuck? Why is why is why is why is there an, a fucking biblically accurate angel in Woho? They'll never know the answer until Woho two when I start charging for this. You're watching these development for free, chat. People people charge for this. All right, and then the extra stage. The woman on a hike turns out to be. A woman not on a hike and she's like yo do you wanna do you wanna like fucking fight or something you're like yeah sure thing woman on a hike but actually not on a hike like hello what's up want to fight I guess except this should this isn't you don't fight on the woman I think. Unless. There you go. Unless you do. You fight the woman on a hike. And she's like. Bap. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, where's Kiwi Copter? The final boss needs to be like a super Kiwi Copter, right? Taurus. Taurons? Taurons? Thank you for the thank you for the raid, man. Two on Taurons. 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 Thank you for the raid, man. How's it going? We're currently designing the uh, overarching storyline for our video game. Because I've realized at this point that I haven't actually made one of those yet. Like electrons. Taurons? Taurons. Ta I'm s Help. <laughs> Help. Here, in the extra stage, you fight Kiwicopter. But like... Kiwicopter's dead, I guess. You know, he's got a few- he's got a few grey pairs here and there. When you win, he lets his son, Kiwi Copter, play as a new playable character. There you go. There's some nice lore right there. Some sick lore. Too sleepy to do modular arithmetic. Tau like cow runs with electrons. Tau ones. Why am I having so much trouble with this? I only had a couple hours of sleep, so I'm gonna blame it on that. Were you doing modular arithmetic? What were you streaming? What on earth?
Um, you need to access the bloody Kiwi Copter Fortress, right? Where would the Kiwi Copters live? Learning about RSA encryption. Oh, cool. There's some lore development. You stream comp size stuff. Oh, oh, thank you very much for the rig then. I normally do as well. Look, behind paint there's a visual studio. Oh, before you go, do you want to quickly see the, uh, the project? We're making a, well we have been for the last few months, although it took a bit of a break. We've been making a bullet hell game from scratch. Um, we've got like a bunch of stuff going for it. Like a boss fights and stuff. You know, the whole, the whole shebang. A leaderboard. You know. Different characters and whatever. Yeah, it's uh, it's open. It's an open gel shader. We've spent a lot of time messing around with it. I can just leave it on if you want for like a minute. The fortress of Old Zealand. Ooh. What's up? How's that one's on the table? It's a picture of my carpet that's being stretched around with shaders. This has apparently got a headache. Do you not want a coffee or something? Is it a water headache? Why don't you go lie down for a bit? Does your carpet not look like this? Yeah. Chris is not feeling too well, chat. Said she's got a bit of a headache. Well, I'm just gonna sit for a second. Oh, I feel like... Is it, it's not this picture. Wait, what picture is the moving? Oh, here you go. It's a picture of my back. It's a picture of my carpet that we like photoshopped quickly. Uh, Chris was just doing some exercise. Are you? Are you streaming later? Oh yeah, you're just, you're just sitting in Discord later, aren't you? Right. Anyway, back to MS Paint. We need to work out what the extra stage we decided you're going to fight Kiwi Copter's dad, and then you unlock Kiwi Copter if you defeat him. If you, you don't end him, you just best him. Then. Then when you win, he lets his son play. Yeah. Don't worry about the law concerns with how Kiwi Copter retroactively is able to go and fight. So does that mean that Kiwi Copter will fight the Kiwi Copters? Yeah. Kiwi Copter can fight Kiwi Copters. Yeah, he can be a Kiwi Copter with a crown. Well, he would be different. He'd, he'd, he'd have to have a new sprite drawn. Well, I can't use the the sprite for the enemies for the player. That would be horribly... Yeah, that wouldn't work. Uh, Kiwi Copter's dad. Where, did, where would you reckon? The Fortress of Old Zealand. So you obviously go to the Shire. That's where I picture this being taking place. Kiwi Copter lives in the Shire. Just nice, like, things everywhere. A little, little bit of ocean over there. I don't know. You fight in. You go into the Shire. The Shire. You fight girl who looks like a yeti except it's just two people in a bloody suit like the ice climbers so two yetis in this game. three well it turns out all along that it was actually two people how about that does that make sense i don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever you don't murder kiwi copter's dad all right that's not the law here i'm just wondering if i should tie back characters from previous sections Hmm. So I'm like, maybe this woman on a hike came from the Shire. 
And she's wearing stilts, you know? Because she's short. Basically, I wanted to tie in the whole idea of there being hobbits. You know? Yeah. We do have bird wife coming back. But this is the extra stage. This isn't this isn't part of the game. This is this is extra. Extra one-off stage like in Toho. Two kiwis in a trench coat. I don't know. I like this idea. It's a woman from Hike. Except he is actually short and on stilts because from Hobbiton. That's how you spell Hobbiton. Wow, what a twist. Kiwi Copter's dad. Ah, my son cannot play. He is weak. You are weak. There you go. There's the entire lore of Woho Project written down in front of you in beautiful, stunning artwork created by yours truly. What a bloody creation. My word. Do we have to go into a sprite now and try and like create sprites of these things? That seems like a pretty good way to spend an afternoon, doesn't it? Especially when you're a bit tired. Alright, let's go into a sprite. Give me a minute. Do -do -do. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is this from Auras? I should probably play Auras. This song's great. Hang on, I need to try and open... Here we go. Alright, so this is the set for Donut right now. And we also have... Hang on. Donut Anger. Donut Eaten. So we have all of the head it's differently. I feel like I could do that differently. There's Kiwi Copter, by the way. Him. Hmm. Anyway, I want to recreate this, but for other characters. I think it's 32 by 32. Oops. 128 by 32. So let's start by trying to make Child of Egg. Oh, I didn't realize you could increase the size of the cursor with a scroll wheel. All right, we need to use the Game Boy palette. I'm not really sure what the difference between these two are. Maybe one of them is used for transparency on the Game Boy or something. That would make sense.
You can see this all okay, can't you? Yeah. No, I want it to look cuter than that. Oh, that's that's cute and also kind of sad that you have to beat it up. Oh, this song's good. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. I think I want pixel perfect actually, don't I? Oh, that's why it looks weird. I haven't got pixel perfect on. So something about the height of this thing, if it's using a boxing glove on its hand, right? This is a large bird. What colours do you think work best for this sort of bird? That's kind of cute. What got you familiar with game design and visual studios? This project. That's literally it. This is the only time I've used Visual Studio for game development. I think it's been a good exercise. Hmm. I guess being magpie coloured isn't the end of the world. So high solid. Doesn't everything have an outline now? It does, yeah. I'll put a squish him. Actually, that sort of works, isn't it? Everything needs to have like a slight white outline around it. I forget how I do the outline though. Edit. Oh, hang on. FX outline. Oh. 
That works. Hang on, what colors do I use from Waifu Shen? I think I had the right coloring before, actually. But this could be switch shifted back a bit. Instead of sleeping because it's 6 a.m. but you want to see this. We're gonna be doing pixel art for a little bit. Um we've just designed did you see it? We've just been doing like a bit of um MS paint stuff. Let me just show it again. Yeah, the story plotting. Oh, did you watch that bit? Yeah, we're just uh drawing the stuff now based off what we did there. I'm gonna just come out of an egg, it's actually a bit more of a brown colour, isn't it? Maybe not this brown. It just looks sort of like a brain, or like a weird bull sack. I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want it looking like realistic. That's kind of scary. Let's go back to the blue. I kind of like the blue. Uh, I'd recommend going to sleep though if you're feeling tired. The VOD will always be up if you want to watch it later. Don't, uh... Ruin your sleep over a bit of, bit of doodling. Does that even look like an egg? Like, not really, right? Looks like his hair. Like, what would this even look like as a whole thing? The sleep has already been ruined. No normal sleep schedule should have someone up at six. It's true. That's true. Hi, Angie. Well, you know. Stay around if you like, but don't feel like you have to. If you do get a bit sleepy, it's okay. Now it looks like he's wearing a bath towel on his head. <laughs> Demo Man Gaming. Strange question. You've accepted your fate. That's fair. It does look like a bath towel, doesn't it? Is it because of this? Like, if I... Exemplify how round it is, does that look a bit better? Maybe. Seek bird. Looks a bit seeky, doesn't he? Do I need to give him, like, the little dagger? I remember RS. I went to school. That looks a bit better. A bit less religious as well.
Yeah, the cracks do make it more eggy, don't they? How are you doing, RNG? Maybe this bit here should be squeezed in a bit. Or whatever. This is good enough, right? Does this look like a bird? Yes. Sick. The task has been completed. Now to make him slightly animated. That's right. little nose go up at the end like this Animation. We did it. It's how you do it. Randomly rotate little bits. And hope it looks good. pretty good, right? I can't believe I've done it. I've animated something. Alright. Let's uh, outline. Bam. Pixel art. It's really that easy. Alright. Now to do that another ten times. <sighs> This can be, um, egg child set, 128 by 32. Now I've got to make bird waifu set, all right. Do you have paint? This is bird waifu. <laughs> oh, weird hiccups there. We're now designing bird waifu. Oh, hey Ray, did you miss this? We drew out the designs for the game, so we've got we've now got a game planned. Do you see this? Do you look at this in an instant and just go, "Yep, that's Woho Project." I know the entire I know the entire storyline off the top of my head. Only eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's also the EX stages. If your blood pressure rising, more. Yeah. Well, I guess we don't have to do donut, do we? And we've already done one, so yeah, you're right. Eight more times. Wait, are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. No, we don't have to do ten more. 
Now I'm getting confused. Yeah, there's five stages plus EX. All right, bird wife. I do already have all budget, that's true. I'm going to put sort of yellow there, have I? Yeah, this song's great. Route 10 from Black and White, I don't recognize this. What's my favourite film? Um, I don't know honestly. I usually just answer Lord of the Rings to that answer, because I actually just don't know. I do quite like Lord of the Rings though, mind you. I haven't watched it in a few years. What about you, Ray? Alien? Really? Horror movie is your favourite. I haven't seen Alien. When did you watch it? Did you watch it as like a kid or something? Or were you just into it? Because isn't the age you watch some films at? Like a massive difference in uh, how you how you feel about them.
Just like to see you sat down and watch every extended Lord of the Rings and Hobbit in a row. Jeez. You watched it like two years ago when you were like 15. That makes some sense. You also watched a bunch of classic horror films like Halloween, Friday the 13th and Scream and stuff. I really haven't seen like a lot of like cult films. Like honestly, my like movies watched ratio is probably astronomically low compared to a lot of people. Like when I was younger I basically only watched Night's Tale on loop because I had it on video. The last movie I watched. Um, Perfect Blue. I think. Yeah, I watched Perfect Blue with Chris a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago. I don't know. TV shows. No, I don't really watch a bunch of TV shows. I've watched all of Top Gear. Um, we watched all of Friends a little while ago. Um, honestly, I don't watch a lot of pop media. I watched a single Top Gear episode. Aren't you English? Yes. How do you manage? Do you not get like bullied at school for not having watched Top Gear? <laughs> no, Le Femail. Yeah? A kid's not into Top Gear these days. I thought Top Gear was pretty big. It was like the world's biggest TV show. You work out, Chris. Good to hear you feeling a bit better. I'm having difficulties drawing bird waifu. It's pretty tough drawing a bird that's also a waifu, you know? It's an, it's an artistic challenge I didn't expect. Has Chris watched Top Gear? I don't think so. Have you? Not really. Might have seen like a random episode, I'm right? Not, yeah, I might have seen like a random I've seen, what was the one where they were on the boats? Yeah, you've seen the boat one. The special's good. I've not seen that. I 
I found probably better off with a coffee than lunch, honestly. No, I had one. Thank you. What were you going to make? Yeah, I can have a sandwich. Works for me. <laughs> Top Gear got new people. I mean, no one cares about new Top Gear. I meant old Top Gear. People say Top Gear, they don't mean new Top Gear. They mean Top Gear. They mean the American, the racist, and the good one. Here we go. I liked Top Gear. I really enjoyed rewatching it. So I always watched like a bunch of it as a kid, as like a rainy day TV show, but I didn't really appreciate it. And then I went back and watched it on my like little TV when I was living alone in Oxford, and I was like, this is good. I didn't go to Oxford, but I went to a uh, uni in Oxford. I'm glad you think I might be smart enough to go to Oxford. Also, I guess to have gone to Oxford. This just doesn't look like a bird waifu, does it? All can be forgiven with pixel art. Just say it's my style, well. Thank you, Ray. But no, Oxford's a bit beyond me, I think. You have to like care about your academics to go there, which is not something I ever did. Wings are tough to draw. This whole bird waifu concept in general. A tough draw. Why don't I just give her like a pair of jeans or something? Friends are pretty much all applying to Oxford and Cambridge, it's safe to say you are not. Well, it's one thing to apply, it's another thing to actually try and get in. Aren't those the sorts of places where you actually have to write, like, a proper essay on why you should get in? You have to do, like, tests and stuff to prove it. I just keep accidentally drawing bloody Jimmy from South Park. Like, this is not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, let's do entrance exams. Imagine wanting to go to a uni for its facilities in current year.
Well, it's just like ballet music we're listening to. Maybe she can wear a nice, fashionable t-shirt. What sort of t-shirts do birds wear? Probably a grey one, right? Well, there you go. Fits in. Perfect. I did it. I drew bird waifu. There she is. Wear a woolen sleevelet merch. That would make sense. I could see that. What is my t-shirt? Um, it's a shirt. <laughs> it just is a t-shirt. I think it has like little foods on it or something. It's one of those t-shirts my mum bought me when I was like 15, but I still wear because it's sort of comfy. I realized that someone in WhatsApp, like one of my sisters posted a bunch of pictures from like I don't know, seven years ago, and I was like, oh, I still wear all these clothes. It looks like frogs. No, they're like fruits with eyes on them. They're kind of scary. One of them is like a burger. They're actually kind of, this t-shirt is actually kind of scary. I think my mum bought it because she thought it was a bit funny. I was like, this is scary. Oh, fill it in with her hair colour. Perfect. I want to listen to like nice undertone music. Pretty scary, isn't it? I don't really listen to undertone music much. But I'm like in the mood for like that like rainy section music. Recognize this song. This thing doesn't have any invisible stuff, does it?
Can this stream go under art? It doesn't matter, does it? We're switching between this and the other thing often enough, aren't we? Why can't I draw? Hello? What happened? What? I don't get it. It works here. How are you doing, Taco? You're doing well in you. I'm pretty tired, honestly. Good to hear you're doing well. When was the last time I had a day off? I take Mondays and Tuesdays off, but I'm always busy. Like this Monday and Tuesday, I've got to go and see my dad. So that kind of, that's my day off gone. We have so much work to do as well. <sighs> I don't really get any days off, unfortunately. That's how it do be. What work do you have to do? Mountains of it. That's a pain in the bum. Mm. I haven't had any time to do videos, fortunately. I don't really have the... like I can't take breaks, you know? My uh... Like streaming is the only way I can even like remotely begin to pay off 
rent and bills and stuff, so I can't just start randomly taking days off, because it'll significantly affect that. And I can't not do the work that I have to do on my days off, because it's work I have to do on my days off, you know? As nice as it would be just to be like, oh, this week I just went, I kind of have to. How it do be. Hmm. How do I change the background of this? There used to be a way to do that, I don't remember what it is. Editor? Oh, here we go. This way we can easily see if there's bits missing. I usually just add a background layer. Oh, that would work as well, actually. Why didn't I do that? Interesting. That makes a lot more sense. I get you're looking for a job on the side. Yeah. I am. Job searching is not very nice right now. Unfortunately. And the inability to find any work makes it harder to find even more work. Because no one wants someone with, uh, like a yearish to two yearish experience. They want people with, like, five years, because then they don't have to train them. And unfortunately, because everyone's getting laid off right now, there's a lot of people with a lot more experience than me applying to the jobs that I'm applying to, and there's not really anything I can do about it. There's so much you can do to differentiate yourself when it doesn't matter because they've got double your experience. Companies don't care how many thing projects you've done on your own or charity live streams you've done or whatever. When someone else has done your job for twice the amount of time and can probably do it better. That is how it do be there. I don't know if I'm going to need to add a smudge layer here. I haven't done any smudging in the other animations, so I might just leave it for now. Is it control over outline? Let's shift A. That looks okay, doesn't it? Bird, wife, set. God, that took much longer than egg child. I guess one of these designs is much simpler than the other, isn't it? This is a bird with a boxing glove on its fist. This is a actual like person. Yeah, it's still. Relaxing undertale music. Funny sans music. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, considering I'm not really an artist, this could be much worse. Let's do another one. We now need to draw just some woman on a hike. Looks a bit like a yeti from 500 feet away. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. I hope so. Maybe I'll actually sell Woohoo. 
instead of giving it away for free. Sell it for like £28 and 50p. One person might buy it. Hello. Thank you, Ray. We'll see how development goes then. Put it on Steam. I might. It's only a hundred quid to put something on Steam, I think. Is it still only a hundred quid? They haven't changed anything, have they? I'd like to get the uh, dev account. If you make more than a grand from the game, you get the 100 quid back. Oh, really? Let's see what we do then. I guess it's just there to discourage people from scalping. It's literally just some woman on a hike. It's not good the money go burr. Is that do meme dead now? Yo, thank you, Chris. It's there to discourage the green light unity asset flips, yeah. <sighs> I get you. Because you used to only need votes, right? To get something on Steam. Oh my god, Scorp Tech. What is this? <laughs> what is this? My word. That was a big emote. I didn't know Twitch allowed emotes that large. I thought they had a thing on like 2x2. Two two. That's sick. What's with the naming? Excessive. Yo, he got the triple X emote tag. My job here is done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Weird man. Alright. Thank you. She looks kind of comfy in here, doesn't she? The law. There you go. Uh, 
Uh, what's this? Woman on hike. Set. Wait, am I saving? I'm not saving this as PNG, am I? I'm saving them as Ace. I am saving them as Ace Sprite. All right, I need to go through and save these as a uh, PNG. Bloody Ace Sprite files. Files save as PNG. Cool. Where's this at? This is Ace Sprite. Hello, Spy. Oh, this is the song I wanted to listen to. Is it called Waterfall? I can never remember. Yeah, it's called Waterfall. This is the best song on the Undertale soundtrack. And you can't tell me otherwise. Hi, Oturk. My god. How you doing, man? I like this bit, the song with the trumpet. Or whatever that is, it's not a trumpet, is it? What are you up to, Otter? This works, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think that's good enough.
All right. We've now got to draw the fluffy Yeti friend, who you remember looks like this. I like this song too. Thank you, Skateman. I'm trying my best to. This has some riffs straight taken out of Toho, doesn't it? That's what a Yeti looks like, right? Because it's a gamer moment. Yo, your MIDI keyboard. Sick.
Are you going to be doing music, Taco? This looks friendly, right? Chat. Do I have to give him the Twitch earmuffs? Because the original drawing had some nice earmuffs on it, so. I don't know if this needs them, though. I think that might ruin it. Maybe not. Maybe they're perfect. Into. This is the cute fluffy yeti boss, of course. This part of the soundtrack is actually pretty good as well. Yo, Donut, hey. Thank you for the 26 months. My god. Thank you, Dinner. New, win new Windows update broke your audio interface. Oh, did it? That's not good. Did it break the drivers or something? How are you doing, Dinner? How you doing, Dinner? You just woke up and saw C++ in your inbox. Glad my regularly scheduled broadcasts have been so interesting. No, I just... What's up? Are you doing well? Hey, Slyn. Did you get your knife through? The uh, authenticator started working last night when I checked, so I tried to send it through as quickly as I could. It did, okay. Sorry about the wait, by the way. I couldn't really do much about it, though. It was sort of uh, Steam's end. People don't pay because 
People don't charge for signing because they want money. They charge for signing so people don't spam them constantly trying to sign their basic weapons. It's just literally just to make it so people treat it more preciously. Which I think makes sense. It's a sensible way to do it. Like a key really isn't that much at the end of the day. It's just there to stop it from people constantly doing stuff. Here we go. So this is, what should we call this? Fluffy Yeti friend. We want to save it again as a PNG. Yeah, that's good. Oh, actually, hang on. We want to outline this in white. Looks good? No, it doesn't look good. Hang on, actually. Hi, Chris. What's up? Can you send it to me? Beavers are sweet. They're like they're like the rats of the ocean, except the rivers. Um No, it's alright, Slane. I actually got rid of um I got rid of item donation on Twitch. Because I don't play the game that much and it seems rude to take two of two items from people for a game I don't really play so much. You know? Alright. Right. Oh, now some new people are here. Do you want to have a look at this again? We did this earlier in the stream. We made like a little storyline for the game. I'll let you read through that in your own time. I need to go over we. I'll be back in a minute, chat. Be back in one minute. Pirate. Hey, Puffle. No ad breaks. Yeah, leaving an ad break for 25 people would really, really help my channel. So yeah, let me quickly run through again for those of you that just got here. The game starts where Baker-chan's bread is stolen and you're like, oh no, get it back. So you go to sort of plains area. You find Child of Egg, who has Waifu Chan's glove. You're like, what the heck? And then you fight Bird Wife, who is a bird but wife. Then you go to Mountainy Snowy section, because you're told to look for a Yeti. And you find some woman on a hike who looks a bit like a Yeti, maybe, from like 500 feet away. Uh, and then you find an actual fluffy Yeti friend to fight. Doesn't really like the cold. Um, then you go up the top of the mountain, and you fight a cloud with an eye. He has allergies, alright? Crying. Then you fight a bloody 
fist. It's just a bit sassy. When you win, he yeets you into heaven. Where you fight Birdwife, who was actually an angel all along. And when you win, you're like, wow. Cool, and it lets you into heaven, and you get to fight a biblically accurate angel. And then that yeets you to hell in some scary way, probably. And then you go to hell, which is Swedish hell. So you fight Donut as a mid-boss. And the final boss is Wool Budget, that evolves into Wool Goldsmug, but with a gun. Um, and that's the storyline for Woho. And maybe you get your bread back or something. I don't know. Maybe not. And then the extra stage is you go to Hobbiton, the Shire. You fight the woman from a hike, except she's actually short and she's wearing stilts, because she's a hobbit. Wow, what a twist. That's right. This lady is actually really short. And then you fight Kiwi Copter's dad, and when you beat Kiwi Copter's dad, you get Kiwi Copter as a playable character. That's the lore. That's the Woho lore. What are your thoughts? We've gone from just having one boss to having like 12, so I'm pretty happy with that. Good. So far we've done some art. So we've done Egg Child, who looks like this. We've done the Bird Wife. We've done the Woman on a Hike. We've done the Fluffy Yeti Friend. And now we're working on... Um... Cloud with Eye. For reference. Cloud with Eye is a cloud with eye. Thank you, Slyn. I've been getting better at it, I think. Slowly. You want to learn pixel art? Just do it. Go into paint and start drawing stuff. This is Ace Bright, but you have to buy this. You can just use it paint. I wonder what the sprite for the Biblical Accurate Angel will be. I'm not sure, but it will have to fit into a 32 by 32 sprite space. So we'll have to see. You can download a cracked version. Don't do that. Just use free software. The sprite's going to be animated. These are animated, see? Well, the donut one is from ages ago. You know the donut one, this link. They are animated, see? Critter? What's that? A sprite is free, you can compile it yourself, but it's better to support the developers. Wait, really? It's free? Yeah, no, support the developers, but I didn't know you could get it for free. Yeah, no, I was thinking of, um... Oh, fuck, what's the Kirby boss called? This isn't a relaxing song. I don't know. I can't remember what the bottom. K Kratos? Maybe Kratos. Kratos. Kraken? It's because, um, bloody Sakurai loves his, uh, biblical lore. Cracko, that's it, Cracko. I say Kraken. Just go and go and do some pixel art. You'll find it fun.
go play Quake. Bye, Minty. See you all later this weekend or later today. Alright, have fun with Quake. Actually, I shouldn't make his eye this. I should make his eye, like, red. Can we go draw a tear over it? Undertale music's good. Isn't he a bit shiny for a cloud? Doesn't he have too many eyes for a cloud? Is he really a cloud donut? That's up to you to decide. Maybe he just looks like a cloud. Maybe you've been listening to the bloody cloud police all along and they've led you into thinking the cloud's a cloud. Yeah, it might be a metal cloud. It's up to your imagination. Up to you. I'm also kind of curious to see how this one rotates. That went nicely. Hey Turbo Banner, what's this saucy number? Twitch.tv forward slash a woolen sleeve of course. The yellow eye might be better. Well, feel free to mod it and replace it with the eye colour of your choosing. My turbo burner. Make a blink animation in four frames. It would just would look weird. I have literally no idea what this is going to look like. Not a clue. You couldn't pay me to guess what this is going to look like.
I think outlining it might look nice there. Maybe do the dark blue only on the bottom bit of the tier. Yeah, that might look better. I have sort of been using a particular shading for the whole thing. It doesn't really match having an outline like that. I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like. That looks kind of dumb actually. Bye, man. Thanks for watching today, man. It's now just way too thick. You know? Hey, Archpicks. I have literally zero idea what this is gonna look like, but let's just let's just run with it for now. If it looks weird, we can just say it's a stylistic choice. Are you coding, son? Sort of. Are you watching, son? Try to do um, cloud with fist. Pretty much. I haven't seen you for a bit. How have you been, Arch? You're trying to find a new direction in life, you want to become a cook instead of a programmer. That is a weird time to start doing a uh, career change. How are you looking into doing it? What direction are you headed right now? Are you taking like classes or something? Or just practicing? No, it's a good time to practice cooking. 
It's more is it a good time for a career change? Just your personal passion, you bring much with it already. Okay. Waiting for responses, watching Twitch and seeing how your life gets consumed by this one CRPG under rail. Huh? Final boss is hell. And the final boss is Kiwi Copter's dad. No, 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 that's the extra stage. The Kiwi Copter's dad is an extra bonus if you do well. It's not part of the base game. Just yoinked something out there. Sorry if I made a noise. This is 32 by 32. You can see it at the bottom. Well, you can't see it at the bottom, my webcam's covering it. This is not 100 by 100. 100 by 100 is way more space than this. Thank you. 
This one's going to look interesting, I think. Let's see how good it actually is, eventually. Could be worse though, considering I can't draw human stuff whatsoever. It's not a bad attempt for a hand, is it? A weird cloud hand. Do I know my first stream? Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Whoa. I think it was this, wasn't it? Yorish. Was it that? This was one of my first streams, at least. Because originally my streaming was just so I could um, stream my Highlander POV. You knew that, of course, though, didn't you, Turbo Boner? Right? You couldn't have forgotten such an important piece, could you? I think it's good that I'm making this a weird cloud hand so I can get away with uh, more, I think. It's like okay that it's fluffing together. Well, intro animation, thanks. I made it myself. I literally came up with the idea on a bus, like waiting for the bus. I can actually remember right now coming up with it. That animation is pretty much one-to-one -one as I pictured it in my head. I was like really pleased. I actually haven't seen it in a while. What does it look like again? The first thing I ever animated in Source Filmmaker. It's not bad. It took a while. I probably still have the files for it somewhere. Oh, hello. You know, hands are not easy to draw. I think this is a-okay, right? <laughs> Cloud hand set. Oops, I need to give it a white outline actually, hang on. Hang on, I've got to delete this layer. <sighs> PNG. Alright. We're now drawing... We're like halfway done now, actually. It's pretty sick. We're now drawing uh, Bird Waifu but Angel. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain. I'm drawing this. Unless... I did it. Alright, good stuff. Let's move on. They don't make them like they used to. Well... See, we can make it into an angel by just doing a few small minor changes. Um, angel wings. I'm a genius. Yeah, we're doing biblically accurate angel after this.
Let's give her blonde hair as well. That's pretty angelic, isn't it? Kiwi Copter's mum, we don't know. Well, can angels be waifus, though? Biblically accurate ones can be. I love Kirby music. Beak looks a bit like a beard. Donut knows what he's looking like. He knows what he's looking for in a woman, even. A fine beard to match his own. Hmm. Still has a bit of a crow's nest of a hairdo though, doesn't she? The shiny bit as a mouth, maybe. The recolor resprite. That's right. This is a new sprite I've made just for this purpose. That's right. Hang on, it has to be like a perfect bloody thing, doesn't it?
don't want to insult all my Christian viewers by not having it be a perfect shape, you know? These bird wifeys are a bit too tall, so I'm going to squish them a bit. I'm sure the animation still works, right? <laughs> Can't believe the Evangelion definition for an angel is actually the real one. Bloody world are we living in? Anime had it right all along. We were too dumb to see. If you've managed to keep the same shape for all of it, isn't that insane? The width might be different, but that just means it's anime thing, so it's okay. Make her show feet when she's in angel form, so Turbo Boner posts a pog champ in my Twitch chat. That's all I'm looking for. Da -da. How about you record them at the end of a programming stream? I was actually thinking about that. Probably on the toilet, maybe in the bath, I'm not sure. But I was like, I could just cut the end hour of this and stream myself doing the vlog. That's pretty smart, Tabby. Thanks for handling my media for me. Alright, we only had one feet, Wilhina. No, actually, hang on, actually. Bird, wife, angel, set. Buddies. Nice. It is a shame. Only one feet. Moi. Yo, ghost. Thank you for the raid, man. Hello, hello. We're doing some drawing. For my video game. How's it going? The next... So we're done with that. I'd say that's pretty good. The next piece is now the biblically accurate angel that we need to create. In a 32 by 32 space. Yeah. This thing. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. But we'll just see. See how it goes. You gotta start with like a central eye, right? Central ish. Big brain programmer, huh? Yeah, sure. I'd like to think so. What were you streaming? So wait, angels have to have like yellow eyes, don't they? 
I could listen to the Mother soundtrack by itself, actually. You're streaming Minecraft? Yeah. Thank you, Ghost. And we're just pissing around, really, aren't we? Do you want to, do you want to show you the game quickly? No. Here's Woho Project. Hey, Bacon. And there's bosses as well. We're currently drawing the rest of the bosses for the game, which we've designed earlier. Thank you, Bacon. After Ghost's previous humiliation, in which he did Fortnite dances, he chose for a change of pace to play Minecraft. It's quite the change of pace. It's not nearly as fun, though, surely. Oh my god, I like it so much better without the pupil. Isn't that like scary? Do you see this shit? Looks like an egg. Looks scary. It's like an egg that's it's frying. Sick. Sanctuary Guardian. Bob -bom. Sanctuary Guardian's good. I can put the Mother soundtrack on if you want. Mother one S T. Wait, did you want Mother One or do you want Mother Two soundtrack? took a game design courses and made a silly little platformer. Now you'll be starting a degree in computer science. Yo, good luck. You'll be able to make this at some point in the future. I hope you can make something better than this in the future. Aspire to be your best.
That looks like a pretty biblically accurate angel, right? Sanctuary Garden is an Earthbound, which is Mother 1. This isn't the Earthbound soundtrack, is it? This is, this is like Earthbound 0, isn't it? Yeah. You mean Mother 2, don't you? The Eternal Fire. I don't know if I can fit Eternal Fire into this, but I'll see how it looks. I'll see how we're going to animate this, first of all. I was thinking I might just like squish it a bit. And like randomly rotate parts. That's probably messed up enough, right? I forget this is an Earthbound song. This looks messed up enough. Okay. I think we're fine without adding Eternal Fire to this, right? I think it should work fine. I think it looks pretty spooky as is, right?
might be too much. Really? I think the fact that the eye in the middle is relatively stable should make it look okay. We just make it animate really slowly. Should be fun. I think it's sick, personally. Sick. Dab. Look, you had a white outline? Bam, that's a sprite. That's how that works. Alright, the next thing is... Whoa. It's wool budget. Oh my god, that's gonna be so hard to animate. <sighs> Good old on it. That one single pixel has been annoying me forever, by the way. Yeah, I know. I thought you'd get excited, Turbo. He's actually going to get a palette rework so it fits into the game. He's going to get a Game Boy sprite. Which is truly the best timeline. Don't worry, I'm about to confuse you a lot.
Bye bye. This is C++, what do you mean? Wait a minute, this isn't Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Even better. None of these colors really fit. I think it's about as close as I can get to fit within the Game Boy palette, right? It can be a bit of an older wall budget, it's fun. I mean, blue works as well. Mm. 
Doesn't that work? I think that sort of works. It makes him look a bit like the two-year chicken, which I don't have. I have the three-year one, of course. That works, right? That's not a bad representation of this within a limited palette. Is it? And animated. I think that's not bad. I'm happy with that. I don't know if I want to be bothered to draw a wool budget with a gun. Or wool gold smug, even. Mm. I mean, a final boss has to have two stages, right? How the fuck is this going to fit within a pallet, though?
The only thing is wrong as long as you write some crispy dialogue. Don't worry, there'll be some crispy as heck dialogue for this. Yo! So I just yelled into the microphone. Christopher, what the flip is this? Oh my god. Chat, do you see this? Look what Chris has made. What is this? It's a sample in it. What's in him? Yo. Thank you. What? Sorry, chat. I know you want gaming, but I've got Eating hungry. Content. Eating. Yo, you can talk to Chris for a minute if Eating you want. Content. I made wool in a nice sandwich, but I'm gonna have two sausages and an egg. No sandwich for me. Also, the sandwich, the bread toasted strangely. What well, toasted weird about it? Yeah, I think I put on only the grill mode and not the grill and fan mode or whatever, so only one side toasted, the other side so. Do you want to move the microphone away from me, chat, so you don't have to look at me like crunching all the time? Because this is like fucking great. There's like a runny fried egg in here. Like, what else do you want in a sandwich? What are you all up to? What did you eat today, chat? This is now a. This is now an eating stream. All right, this is a mukbang. Now try not to scrape the knife too much. ASMR, crunch. Oh. I moved my mouse and my GPU froze. Do I have a memory issue with my PC, you reckon? Like, did the stream just freeze for a second? I think I just dropped a few frames. It did freeze for you. Like, I moved my mouse and my entire PC froze for a bit. Do you think I have a memory issue? Like, do you think my RAM's breaking or something? Why full budget at a Glock? Wasn't the idea to give Wool Gold Smirk a gun? I don't know how I'm gonna do that. He doesn't really fit. It's not impossible. Like, what else could it be? Because it's not like... Moving my mouse would have caused a hard drive update to freeze, right? Like, everything froze. My screen froze. OBS died for a bit. Like, it said I dropped 152 frames. And I don't think- I think it went red. Like, I don't think I actually output anything. You'll blame Windows as usual. Even though it's a clean install. Ish. Cleanish install. Like, it's a couple weeks old now, but it's still fairly clean, right? What have y'all been up to? How's your weekend been? Right? Sunday, isn't it? You got anything exciting done? Who to turn up the music? You should run a memory check. I did, nothing happened. I've ran like the Windows memory checker that restarts your computer. And like nothing happened. Like it didn't, it didn't even display messages, which was kind of weird. I thought it would turn back on and be like, blah, 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 blah. Is it mem check? I think it's mem check. You got 2110 in a div 2. That's Gunspy. Nice work, man. 
Nice work, nice work. What map are you playing? Like Swiftwater or something. Do we need to turn up the music a bit, by the way? I don't know if it's too quiet. Or if it's okay. Product? You were using the ambassador on product? Why? That's the revolver map, isn't it? It's tiny small map. Good work, though. Have you went flank with shotgun, or was it one of those games? Hi, Rathalos. Yo, have you got a med drop with the family business? Well, good work still. How's it going, Rath? What did you die to, then? If you were having a game when your heavy was going around with the family business, like soldiers and stuff. I'm doing okay, Rath. I only had like a couple hours of sleep last night though. But I'm eating my lunch now, so I feel a bit better. How about you? Is it still a bit too loud, maybe? Pyro Axe? How did you die to Pyro if you're playing Spy? You're not using the Spicicle? Yeah, it's just mother music, yeah. Sorry, was he using the axe extinguisher? Isn't that like really bad? He W I'm you into corners. You can air strafe out of those. What do you mean? Why didn't you just shoot him in like the eight seconds it takes him to pull his melee out? You're shouting up for using jetpack in a lobby. Why? Isn't jetpack an actual thing? Yes, it's good. Axe extinguisher isn't good. Doesn't it do like the same damage as like a shotgun? But instead of having six hits, you have one hit. And it's melee. Hmm. When Primpyro uses it, the axe uses it to drop medics. Do people not use the shotgun anymore? Does it not do like 90 to 100 damage? You just hit it twice. Yeah, this is human music. You're gonna try to look after yourself today. That's good to hear, Raph. I can switch it off human music if it scares you. I can put the Mother 2 soundtrack on. Actually, wait, this song's good, isn't it? If we use detonator and shotgun, detonator? I guess for snipers, right? Does Steve still play? You are awful. No, you are Rathalos. You mistyped. Are you gonna play the uh, Switch Monster Hunter when it comes out, Rath? By the way. I don't think so, that's a shame. People uber pyro and it works out. Okay. Weird. Wait, who's the good pyro now? Because Steve was always just the best pyro. There's, um... Not Jägermeister. Who was it? Who was the other one that was pretty good? I can't remember his name, but he started playing Yahoo. Yeah, Yahoo was pretty good. Is he still good? You haven't played your Switch in months. I don't play it too much either, but apparently it's like a full-on Monster Hunter game. Like, it's not a spin-off or anything. 
No, he was good, yes. Cool. Have you played anything at all lately, Revelos? I forget. Weren't you playing through, um... Oh, what was it? No, you've been reading, Pun Pun. I actually don't know. What have you been playing lately? I'm getting to the end of this sandwich now, chat. Mukbang Pog. Hell yeah. It looks alright to you. Oh yeah, I remember you talking about the... You weren't, you weren't sure how you felt about the, like, clutch claw thing the other day, right? Or, like, the flying. Your friend wants to get into comp, but he's a free to play, so people reject him. Can he not... Can he not afford 50p for, like, a name tag or something? Maybe that's why. Oh yeah, Fatalis. When's the Fatalis update? For Monster Hunter. When does that come out? Someone used Flog on Steel, but that was a game where they capped E in two minutes. Yeah, I mean, in games like that, it really doesn't matter what you run, right? Your team's probably gonna roll anyway. God, this was really good. You've been reading through Good Night Pun Pun more, and it's only lightly touching the surface of depressing. How far through are you now? Would you reckon? of October. What day is it today? It's the 20th of September. So it's in a couple weeks. Oh wow. You only know comp spy from me and Stabby. Does Stabby still play competitive? I can know he streams sometimes, but I've only ever seen him play pubs. Oh, it's the Earthbound soundtrack, right? Oh, on YouTube, right. We played a lobby once. All right. Oh, yeah, you've been reading the physical books, haven't you? Where'd you get them from? Like uh, WH Smith or something? Or are you getting them online? Craze. Yeah? Waterstones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen them doing a lot of manga though, actually. Are you trying to build up the full, like, volume collection?
That was some good shit. <clears throat> that was some good shit. Right there. I'm gonna get. You know, if we're taking a break anyway. You need proper shelves. How do you reckon you're gonna do it? Are you just gonna buy like IKEA shelves or are you gonna go to like a thrift shop and try and get like a nice wooden thing to put on? That was a bloody brilliant sandwich, that was. Yeah, they have a surprising amount of manga at Waterstones. What you'd expect for a bookshop. Like, I had no idea. No railgun, though. Like, I've been around all the, um, with Chris and everyone, we've been around, like, all the various bookshops in London. I've found nowhere selling a uh, railgun or index or anything. It's such a shame. Not a lot of very famous philosophy books. Maybe manga's just a better seller than The Stranger. Alright, we're back. God, it's bloody warm in here. Why is it so hot? The plan is to get a small two-seater couch first, so you can figure out the size needed to properly fit the shelves on both sides. I see. Seems like a good plan. And we can do. We can set the contrast really high. I don't know if this makes any change whatsoever. You have an attic bedroom on the other side opposite are your windows, so the ceiling overhangs diagonally. You live in the attic, do you? Is it comfy? On the other side I have your windows. Are you ex are you expecting to live in this flat for a while then, if you're working out the furniture based off of it. It's pretty alright. Okay, that's fair then. How long have you lived there? At this point? I need to replay Earthbound. It gives me quite a few years before you decide, think about deciding to move out. 
That's fair then. Completely fair. As long as you found somewhere you're happy with. There's not really an orange here, is there? I keep forgetting. There's sort of browns, aren't there? Not really the same though, is it? Nice bug grabs. Hi Zeon. This is almost a month of programming. I mean, it's been going on for months and months. We just took a break for a bit. How are you doing? You envy people who have houses with flat roofs they can climb onto. You'd like to get nice. You do get nice views of the sunset and stuff. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, like during the uh, current during Corona, some of our neighbors have like little things that they can sit on outside. You can kind of just see him out the window and you're like, man, that must be nice. Alas, my flat did not come with that such equipment. Bum, 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 bum. Flat moves are more popular, more common in hot areas like Spain and Italy. Yeah, they're kind of rare in the UK, aren't they? Can't really expect to get them here. So I like all this knocking. Bum, bum. We'd spend their, 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 their spare time at IKEA. Making a funny meme again, Turbo. Bum, 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 bum. Fart music.
There we go. You've been to work here in like a year. You've been doing 3D oddling, it's probably your favourite skill so far. That's quite cool. <clears throat> yeah, we need more stuff from Ikea. We wanted to get some of those nice, um... Glass jars that you store stuff in, but we ended up just getting them at like a local shop instead. Well, localish, it's London, isn't it? Everywhere's local. They're really nice for storing like flour and stuff in, it makes everything feel a lot nicer. Yeah, IK just happens to be very cheap, doesn't it? This is otherworldly foe, yeah?
That's good enough. All gold smug, but with a gun. We now need to draw the woman from the hike, except she's actually short and on stilts. This. this is the woman from the hike.
Hello. <coughs> Pardon? <coughs> Bloody brilliant, Chris. Some of your best work. You know the Lord Rathalos. You know Woho the Law, don't you? The hike, exactly. You remember? Celeste. Alright. Have you not seen this, Wrath? We were doing this for the entire start of the stream. Have you seen this? This is the Woho law sheet that we drew up. No. Oh, okay. Let me take you through it then. Level 1, right? <clears throat> Fight bird. Fight bird wife. Level 2. It's a woman on a hike. It looks a bit like a yeti. And then the next actual boss is an actual yeti. It's this lady. Later in the game, for the extra stage, you fight her again. Except it turns out she's actually short, and she's wearing stilts in this suit. Thoughts on this lore? This is cute. Do you want to see all the stuff we've drawn? We drew this. We drew this. We drew this. This one's really cute, I think. We drew this. We drew that. Here is Bird Wife again. Here is a biblically accurate angel. Here's Will Budget. Redrawn. Here's Will Goldsmug, but with a gun. And now we're drawing this. Feels like Stardew Valley style. I mean, it's just pixel art, isn't it? Thank you, letters. How's it going, by the way? Palette is good. It's the Game Boy color palette. I yoinked it. Oh, yeah. Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Sorry. This is a sort of a magpie thing. Oh, 
I'm really happy with this. See, she looks tall and big, but she's actually small. if she wants. That's a treat. If she's wearing little dungarees now. She can still be held by the hand. She's very good at them. You don't know about the Game Boy Color. Oh, did did it not reach the uh, reach Poland? That's fair then.
Oh, tune. You mean the DS breath? Because the Game Boy Advance SP had a flip, had a clamshell design, but it didn't have a split screen. It only had one screen. Does it look like this, Ralph? Yes. Alright. Yeah, SP is really good. I didn't get one unfortunately, I had a, a regular... My sisters all had a Game Boy Color that I nicked and used, and then after a while my mum bought me a regular GBA. It was pretty nice, it's a good present. I still have it, it's over there. It still works. I need to replace the battery and all my Pokemon copies though. Nin Nintendo started legally importing stuff into Poland since the Switch, really? We only just started to get Nintendo software, uh, hardware, even. That's unlucky. What have you had instead? Did you have game consoles in general? Like, did you have, uh, Sony and Microsoft and Atari and all that lot? Sega? Just not Nintendo. Did they just not see the niche in the Polish market? This should be fine, right? Um, woman from hike. Short woman said. All right. We now simply have to draw Kiwi Copter's father. Ugh, this can't be too bad, right? Gothic Wow and Witcher. Just scale the sprite by twice. Pop up.
I really like this song. Sorry, do you have a headphone set up so you can hear your voice while wearing headphones? No. I used to years and years ago back when I played TF2, just to work out how loud I was being. Turns out not very loud at all. But no, I did. That would be torturous. This is a spray. M. Elder Kiwi Copter. How goes the woho? It's going good, thank you, Yama. How goes the not watching woho? How you be doing? What an amazing song. That's right, I'm calling out for being a bit late. Stinky Yoma. Why don't you watch all of my live streams start to finish? Can we cop him next to his son?
Oh my god, hello. Ah, my side hurts. Well, rest. I do usually need to pee when I finish, though. That's simply how it do be. Does the manga make you need to pee, Rathalos? That's a pretty good impression of Kiwi Copter's dad, right? That looks like it could be Kiwi Copter's dad, right? Euro also is doing a 4K World Cup. Do you mean it's in, there's a prize pool of four grand, or is it it's in 4K? Is Osu in 4K looks pretty much the same as Osu in 720p. Japan versus Brazil. They always do a World Cup. It's a like a yearly event, or I don't know if it happens several times a year, maybe. It's not really something I'm too interested in, though. Cool. It's very cool, but I'm not that interested in it. Um, PNG. Let's also say that it's an ace brain. We're doing everything else. That's it. We've done all the sprites.
that we wanted to do, at least. Hey, Beaver. Good timing. Look at this. We've got every boss. I mean, we haven't done all the sprite work, obviously. We've got to do, like... What's the word? Like, faces for them. But this is fine for now. Can you start off with this creature? <laughs> then you fight its mum. Maybe. Bird waifu. Then you fight... Wait, where's the lady? Then you fight this woman on the hike over here, actually. Hang on, woman, woman with hike should be here. You fight woman on hike. Then you fight this cute yeti. Then you fight this kind of scary cloud thing. Then you fight this sort of cloud hand thing. Then you fight bird waifu, except she's an angel. Then you fight a biblically accurate angel. Then you fight wool budget. Then you fight Wool Goldsmug with a gun. And then for the extra stage, you fight the woman from before. Um, this lady. Except it turns out she's actually short and she's just wearing stilts. And then you also fight Kiwi Copter's dad to unlock Kiwi Copter as a playable character. Or maybe you unlock Kiwi Copter's dad as a playable character. I don't know. Yeti Chan looking cute. I think the Yeti's really cute. I think this is like a cute sprite, isn't it? It's like it could be in like Kirby, you know? Don't forget the ending where they have a picnic at the shrine. That's going to be difficult to do with the biblically accurate angel. Possible, though. I really like the wool budget. I think this looks good. Look at it trying its best to fit within the... Uh, given... I guess budget. Colour budget. I like wool gold smug with a gun. See, it's wool gold smug, except it has a gun. He looks cute. Just hanging in there. Yeah, he's just chilling. I mean, we can have a look what he looks like, right? If we go into the game. They should all be here. We want to build, though, just to make sure everything's in. Is in Ambi. No, it's just a gun. Not everything has to be a Team Fortress reference, Beaver. Alright, where is it? Woolbudgetset.png. Right, so we want to go into Enemy Controller. Donut. Wait, is it in the header, maybe? Or is it in game? It might be in game, actually. No? Donut set. Oh, actually, you know what it would be? I'm being, I'm being mid boss, won't it? Donut set. So instead of donut set, we can try out all the different things that we've just made. So give me a sec. Let me put a sprite on my left. Let's start with Egg Child. What the fuck is this file called? Egg Child Set. Egg Child Set. <laughs> Actually, wait, is this one even getting used? No, it's not. Oops. Wait, it should be getting used, actually. Hang on, this is Pattern Tester, right? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I, I need to build again, don't I, actually? That's not annoying. Here's this thing. Actually, hang on, I can use Big Woho. There's like the there's like the first mini boss. God, that looks bloody good, doesn't it? Actually, hang on. Let me let me go into full screen. I know obviously it's full screen for you. That looks good, doesn't it?
Alright, that's good. Egg child is good. We also need... Bird wife. Set. <laughs> Third wife set looks good, holy shit! I've made flapping wings chat. Do you see this shit? I managed to animate some wings flapping. Isn't that incredible? Do you see that? Ignore the framework, we can adjust the animation speed. That looks decent for something that we just kind of threw together. And by threw together, I mean I think I've spent the most amount of time on that. That looks fucking decent, doesn't it? Alright, we want woman on <laughs> woman on hike set. Oh, she really is just a woman on a hike. That looks pretty decent. It fits in absolutely perfectly, because this will be on like a snowy background. Woolen on hike. I think it looks decent, doesn't it? For like a four frame animation, you'd have no idea. Look at how like her hair like wiggles as well. Man, that's good. I'm getting pretty good at pixel art. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm getting better. Considering where I started at a few months ago. You know what I mean? Like with the original, um... This fucking thing. This isn't too bad. To that. That was like the off stream. I'm getting better. Bum, 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 da da. Oh, that's fucking terrific. I might need to mess around with the uh, headphone. It looks like she's got headphones actually, not ear warmers. That looks fucking good. That is cute. She's bopping, yeah, it does look like she's bopping, doesn't it? As expected, the cloud with eye is a bit weird. Maybe I need to make it shrink and g shrink a bit and grow. He doesn't really go up and down. Hang on, I can try and fix that now. Let's make it so he actually bobs up and bloody down. That might make it look just like miles better. Yeah, the FDR one does pop in and out, I know. Oh, it looks better now that I'm making it go up and down. His eye does have that weird sort of pixel in it. Good enough for now, though. I don't know if I care enough to uh, adjust these things now. Nice. This one I'm really worried about. I'm worried, I mean, like, I have no idea how this one's gonna look. This, like, hand. Historically, I'm not very good at drawing human anatomy, and a hand is sort of part of human anatomy. It's meant to be a cloud, by the way. That doesn't look too bad. It looks like a pointer from, like, Theme Hospital that replaces the mouse. That doesn't look too bad, does it? 
For like a little cloud hand, like a sort of whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's meant to look a little scary, yeah. It's like a fire elemental spray. Does it? I might make it so it always like points at the player or something. That might freak people out. Alright, now we've got to do bird, wife, angel, set. They can make the bosses bigger, I don't know. Right now they're pixel perfect. It's not as bad as Bongo Bongo. As expected, the same sprite, copy and pasted but slightly changed, is still pretty good. Maybe I should have tried to keep the halo relatively the same. We just don't really have the space to have it bob up and down. Alright, that one needs a bit of adjusting at some point. They feel a little small. They do. Maybe that's just the charm of the game though. You can unlock a mode where you date all the bosses. <laughs> Dank and Rumpy, you consider the other characters bosses. Is the biblically accurate angel? Yeah, I might make them just like tw you know twice as big or one and a half times larger or something. We made music by cut typing and copy passes. We did. They weren't good enough to save though, I think. I think one of these frames it should bob up and down or something. It doesn't look bad for like an amalgamation of flesh and eyes though, does it? You know what they just seem? I might. We're miles off finishing development though. Let's see what world budget looks like. Da -da -da. Yeah, you're not really not going to be looking that closely anyway. People, like, we're only looking now because we've just drawn them and we're actually staring at the spray. I think usually be looking at the massive patterns they'd be shooting out and being like, wah! Oh my god, it's him! God, that animates fantastically! Mostly. His face kind of squishes to the right a little bit on one frame, but that's okay. I think he should be moving around this boy. That ain't look half bad though, though does it? Oh, Treasure Mouse. Him. It isn't going to be a game journalist mode. You're a game journalist. Wool Gold Smug set. Oh my god, he's got a gun. Oh, I just quit by accident. Oops, I meant to go into uh, the thing again. There he is with his gun. It, it literally is just a wool gold smug with a gun, isn't it? Good stuff. Are you a content creator? Oh no. Oh, it looks like she's like wobbly standing on. That looks good. It just looks sort of like she's like, uh, she's unsure. She's like, ah. Uh. I wish that stick on the right moved by a pixel. That's good. Hi, noob. Turbo Boner is an influencer, yeah. He influences chat to do all sorts. Kiwi Copter's dad set. Yeah, where's that Sims highlight coming out, Boner?
Oh, look at Kiwi Copter's dad. He needs to bob up and down in some frame, doesn't he? He's a thick boy. Alright, that's good enough. I don't know if I can be asked to finish editing the rest of this stuff, so I'll just put it back onto, um... Bird wife. Yeah. <sighs> Hi, Lou. Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh. Why is his chest pulsating? He should probably be dipping up and down, shouldn't he? Uh, I can't be asked. Yeah, he's got that dad bod. Alright. God, I am tired. Can I, what are we going to do for the last half hour, chat? Go on. I did say I'd consider watching through the end of some of my other VODs just to go through development, but I don't really remember what happened. Honestly, myself. Hmm. Playlists. Do I not have the C++ playlist as like a... I should probably have that one at the front, shouldn't I? On this, like, second channel. Hmm. I know you can't see what I'm looking at, by the way. Don't worry. Yeah, I should probably have the C++ stuff at the, uh... The front. I'm not playing Spellbreak, don't worry. Oh, I had a beard in this one. So if we make this 960... Oh, it doesn't include the bean stream. I do not remember what we were doing in these. Did you develop it or something? You seem to be really into it. I don't know if I can be asked to do this right now. I'm a bit too tired to look through all this. What do we do for 30 minutes? <sighs> I'm tired. He found a game for the first time in months. I see. All right, all right, all right. We have half an hour chat and I'm like, my brain like is just collapsed from lack of coffee. And we can put small woho.exe in there. 30 minutes of tidying up your code. Oh man, I'm exhausted. What do you want to do? I'm thinking of code cleanup. What do you do? We can go into paint and start to work out how we're going to do some of this stuff. Hmm. Let's see, don't we have the brain power? I don't have the brain power to talk, don't I? Let alone, like, it's, it's also quite warm. Let alone go around refactoring all my code. What I wanted to do at some point was write, maybe next stream, was write a thing to generate the game for me so I don't have to make anything. <laughs> Oh god. Um I'd happily backseat you if you made it public. Sure. That's just what I want. Logo is cool. Um what am I doing? End boss one, end boss, mid boss. <laughs> Alright, so Minus dialogue I wanted there to be a thing that auto-generated patterns and bullets How's that gonna work? How would I do that? It's definitely possible because it's just generating random numbers But I surely I want it to work Okay. 
I need to work out first of all what we're gonna do. I need to work out what we're gonna do for um <sighs> What do I wanna say? So in Toho you have a you have a HP bar per spell card, but in this so far there's only one health bar. Which is kind of weird, really. Like in Toho you can like you can just dodge and wait and you, you can skip the boss. So I think it's so I think maybe even next stream before we do anything we should try and implement that. Where like um each spell card has like a timer. Or it has oh, the health. And then it skips to the next one, and then once it's run out of spell cards, the boss is defeated. Rather than the boss just having a health value. Should I write these down somewhere? I should, shouldn't I? Let's go in here. Update boss system. Instead... Remove boss HP. Add spell card HP. Add spell card timeout. Boss dies when it runs out of spell cards. A spell finishes ends either when the timer runs out or you do enough damage. Alright, so that's the first thing we need to do. Pick some of those sprites. Look a bit dodge. Um, create random boss. Create Spell card generator. No, actually, no. Yeah, actually, create spell card generator. For any boss in particular, take in a seed so it can be saved if a cool pattern shows up. Yeah, I would like to be in full control of the project. And by that I mean taking advice from Twitch chat while streaming is one thing, but I kind of like that I'm the only person who's still writing all this shit. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I made this project, but it would have been shit if it weren't for other people fixing it for me, you know? It's sort of a bit like a... Um, I think you're bad at programming and I need to do it for you, sort of thing, you know? It's not a nice thing. Although it's a nice offer, is it? I don't know. That's how it feels, at least. You didn't know this was an 18 plus stream. Take in a seed. Accept a... Seed. Generate a random number... Spell cards. Wait, should it be a random number of spell cards, or should it just be like five? Generate five spell cards. Create a random bullet type. One, two, three. Create a random pattern for that spell card using every generated type. Create a random timeout or just use 63. It's more that I want to help you do the things you keep saying you don't have time for. It... How is cleaning up the code backseating? I want to do the things you don't have time for. I don't know. I appreciate that you're just trying to help, but... 
It's a bit of a kick in the dick when you're just making a project for fun and someone's like, I can do that but better. Let me do it for you. You know? Um, I appreciate you like to follow your standards and everything, but it's okay for stuff to be a bit shit. That's the fun of it. You know? I'm not going to do that. I mean, it's on GitHub for backups, but um, it's just private right now. It wouldn't take that much to make it public. So of course I do backups. Anyway. Um, generate a random pattern for the spell card. Random pattern involves... Uh, here we go. Let's put this on the right side of the screen. Oh wait, hang on. Let's put this here. So a random bullet type. Random sprite. Random... Random angle, velocity over time. Sometimes, random path. Uh, random number of steps, zero to ten. Path, step. Random angle velocity delay. Okay, so it's just stuff like this should help me when it comes to writing it next time. Should I do a seed per spell card or a seed per boss? Probably per card, right? Because then I can save it a bit better. Um... This bit here could just do a seed per spell card and just do it five times so we can save the nice looking ones. We can spend some time just repeatedly What's 5 times 12 chat? I should probably know what this is. It's like your times tables. 60. We probably need like 60 good and doable patterns. I'm not sure how to increment it in difficulty. Does bosses change patterns? What do you mean? When you play through the game again, it should be the exact same so you can learn how to play it. So the seed once found should be set. Like, you know, sure, you can have a playthrough where it's randomized or whatever, but there should be like a default playthrough where everything's set, predefined. Oh, how, how do we do the different difficulties, though? Or do I just not do that? Do we just have one difficulty? Difficulty could affect velocity? And bullet size, maybe. Maybe generate everything for lunatic, for hard, normal, easy. Use um, seed, use same seed, but generate less, slower bullets. Make sure they're doable. Probably. There we go. Is that one donkey video? There's a lot of donkey videos. I've actually been re-watching a lot of donkey videos lately. They're still good. As expected. Alright. Okay. 
Anyway, um, so like... <laughs> Instead, so the file readout might change now. So a boss file might look like this. Does it even need to do that? For the default playthrough, we can just hard code this stuff, i.e. get boss level 1 mid boss equals true might return b5 spell cards boss sprites text etc keep the file reading thing though so the game is easy to mod store the c to generate the bullet patterns and run at game launch run at a generator at level start to <laughs> Solo Fall Guys tonight. No, I think we're playing with Ash, TK, and Tommy. You're working in a team of five on a multiplayer game. It's easier because one person focuses on code, another on vehicles, another on static assets, etc. Yeah, you have five people working on a game, but only one person's programming. What do you mean? Is the code not that hard? To divide work and code, you could write description with inputs, outputs for a function. You know how to do that, then let the community jump in and clean up the code. I see. I see. Um. Anyway, anyway, sorry. Back to this. So we're generating random stuff. So we need to we need to store something somewhere. Have a class or some structure in game, maybe to store the 12 bosses and the uh, 60 seeds. Editor maybe can let you input a random seed to see what gets generated. Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? That's like a good way to use the, the editor. Because right now it just spawns in a boss and reads out of this file. We could use the editor to test out new seeds. Oh, see if they're like doable or whatever. It's not the fun winging it and getting the code to work, but if this project's for fun, it's a good idea to get into the habit of writing clear code for the purpose of learning. I think it's a good habit to have fun. And I don't think writing code cleanup when you're tired for the last half an hour of a stream is fun, but thank you for offering to do it for me. How about more programming for me next week? Yeah, we'll, we'll do more. Now I, now I like have a path for the future and know what I'm doing. It makes it a bit easier to do them again. When we weren't doing them for a while, I just didn't really know what to do, and I was getting a bit bored with the stuff we still had to do. But now that we have more of a roadmap, I think it makes more sense. We sort of hit a wall. Plus, I got a bit burnt out. We were doing way too much of it. This song's good. But Earthbound is such a good soundtrack. It wasn't like three hours long. That was more of a joke. Ha ha! You got me. Oh, you know what we also need to do? At some point... Draw a nice piece of art to show between levels. To show... Write more stuff for the background controller. Create more sprites for the background controller. We can just have a similar thing to what we have for level 1 for now, but for each level right now. Later in development, we can work more on hang more go on in the background. What? Alright, weirdo. Uh, 
Um, what are we doing here? Yeah, I wanted there to be like not necessarily cutscenes, but the equivalent of that. Well, see, I've I've gone through uni, donut. I've graduated. I've gotten my degree. This can be nice and messy and nonsensical and spaghetti-like, and it'll be wonderful. Oh, uh, right. Something in the menu that lets you launch into extra mode. Write a sort of script beyond just you go from this stage to this. Uh, oh yeah. Write more sound effects. Write more particles looking at you bomb explosion. Come up with ideas for bombs and how they should look. Learning doesn't stop after uni. And that's why we stopped doing programming streams for a while. Um, write music or at least work it out a bit more. Come on, bro. Hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, create sprite sheet for bonus kiwi copter character. Tim. Oh yeah. Need to write something to generate the levels for us to. God, it's a pain to design these things. Oh, okay. Or just sit down for an afternoon and design more enemy paths, I guess. We'll see. In Toho stuff just sort of floats in. So maybe it's not worth the mental effort to worry. Oof. All right, we've got some good notes for next stream. Um, so we know what to do. We want to write a system to update the. Bo we want to update the boss system first of all. I want to generate. I want to make the spell card generator. I think that's the thing I care about more, is like the actual bullet hell boss pattern stuff more so than the levels. And then during the levels we can work out what we're doing if we want to like have paths or whatever. If we can just reuse the same paths and randomly chuck them around, I don't know. Whatever works. Time for Jura. I mean we don't have too much to like. We've done like some optimization. Like the main menu used to be kind of laggy. We fixed that at some point. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say or look at? I think so. Oh, anyway, I think I might end like five minutes early. I'm quite tired, as you could probably tell. Uh, so I'm gonna host CJ. Yeah, I'm gonna host CJ. Go say hi to him. We'll be back later with Fall Guys. Uh, go say hi to CJ. He's playing Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Everyone loves Iceborne. I love Iceborne. It's great. We'll be back a bit later, lads. Thanks for watching today.